bank um, test, and 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 there's an ask question button, and you can type in out the question, and you, you know do it all manually. But like if you want to give like a star release test, or if you want to give a something like that, um, you yep. can you can get questions from that. Or if you have an item bank, let me see if you guys have item bank. I know you have at least the, the star test maker bank. Everybody, says, yeah, you got Peach Scope and Peach Bank, yeah. Yeah, so, um, I'll probably do the star released. Um, could you walk me through U.S. history? Yeah. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to go to your assessments tab, and you want you'd want to click on create a new test, kind of at the bottom left. And you're going to do a new blank test. Okay. And then hit next. You hit next. It's going to ask you to pick, you know, which campus is taking it, et cetera. It'll walk you through the, you know, just ask you who, basically who's going to take the test, what's the subject, social studies, or grade. Um, U.S. history, is that 10? Anyway, whatever grade level. Test type, I guess, would be local test, correct? Uh, yep, it can be. Uh, it, basically, the test types are the buckets you guys have. You can add, you could add other test types, like you could have benchmark, but right now you've got local test, so that works. Okay, I just hit next, select mm -hmm. Wood Herald. High score here. Okay, it's asking me to select. Or like the high school social studies. There we go. And then hit next. Five minus yeah. Let's see. Okay, it says I'm done. I'm in the beta mode. Okay. And so it goes back. So um go out of beta, go back to standard uh, view. The reason I say that is a little easier to search at the moment. They still need to adjust. They need to add that search bar for beta. It's not there yet. Okay. I got that done. Okay. Go to the questions tab. Uh, oh. Okay. And click on, it's up kind of the top right, search item bank. Okay. And there's a little search bar there. Type in there star space whatever year. So like star space 2018 for last year's test. And then click search item bank. That should bring up all the questions uh, for that test from that year, for that star, you know, the year test. Okay, it did. Now you can, uh, there's a little down blue arrow, you can look at them that way to add the ones you want. Um, you can either just put a little, a little check in the checkbox and then hit add selected, or you can say select all and add selected and just add them all, depending on what you want to do. Okay, I hit add, I checked them all and hit add selected. Okay. And so is that done? It didn't. Yeah, that should do it. You should then see the questions on, the, on it. Um, there it goes. That's basically it. Now, the only other thing you want to do is you want to go into your, um, your students tab. And uh, I re recommend you select students and selected courses and select the, 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 the U.S. history courses. Okay, students and selected courses. Yep. And then U.S. history. And save that. And that's what, okay, save. That's what all you have to do here. The rest of it's filters if you want a specific group of kids, like just the kids who are um, ESL, for example, to take the test. But the, you know, typically a test, you don't really need to filter it. Um, and then you'll go to your administration tab, your start date and your end date when it's going to when, when it can be available for them. Okay, I got that already set. Okay, and then uh, down towards the bottom in the online section, you want to allow online testing. And there's a little checkbox for that, and then it says allow teachers to enable it or only administrators can enable it. So it depends on who starts the test. So you know, for an online test, you have to start it. So whoever you want to start that test, just that's who can do it, and then you hit save, that's pretty much it. So you're ready to give it, then you'll start the test, and they'll, they should be available to them, they should see the questions and the answers. Okay, so we don't have to print anything out or anything like that? Nope, 
yeah, doing it that way, you should have all of it uh, all in one spot. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. If you have any other questions, just let us know. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.